there we go. Okay, I think I fixed everything. <laughs> hello guys, hello. How are you all tonight? I am so freaking excited to breed up some baby tigers. And Kalino, I think I just saw you a second ago. I think I saw you follow along, my friend. Hey, Athena Hammy, Ren, oh, Ren. Oh my gosh, Ren, I finally got the postcards off today. I am so sorry they have taken so long and I was so excited to see your name in them. Oh, Milo Swan, hi! Sleepy Kitty, oh, Chili, hello, hello. Westy Rose, yeah, yeah. I'm so glad that I got it all working. That's my bad, sorry. Hey, oh, Kalino, thank you! <laughs> Guys, Kalino is the one who has made the amazing custom content. There's your egg! Okay, good, and it's in the nest. <laughs> But Kalino is the one who has made the amazing custom content that we use in our Sims 4 random challenges, the, the like breeding that we do. So I'm very, very, very excited to see you here tonight. This breeding is not going to be quite as exciting as using your pet custom content, I'm afraid. Uh, well, it is pretty exciting. Hey, Delser, thank you so much for joining on the adventures. Hey, Sleepy Kitty! Yeah, you are more than welcome to share some cool facts about flamingos. Uh, oh, you want to know why they're pink? Oh, can I share some cool facts about pl flamingos? And North Heart, thank you! It's so exciting that you're here tonight. Goodness gracious. Also, the music is so loud for Planet Zoo, so let me know if I turned it down enough or maybe too much. Because, wow, that's loud. <laughs> Fun fact, when it's just me, myself, and I, and I'm like getting ready to record Planet Zoo, I kind of sit here on the loading screen and I'll sing along. Wow. Oh, Whimsy Weed, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Wing Stiller, you gifted the... Welcome, Whimsy Wing. Wing Stiller has once again gifted another sub egg to someone. Thank you so much. Okay, you guys can't hear the music now. Lucky Ducks, I'll turn it down on my end. I turned it down too much for you. Let me know when we hit the happy middle ground with the music and I will totally uh, fix that. Hey, Eagle Lord. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. Ryan, so good to see you. Nature of Gaming, hello. Okay, I'm turning up the music now. Hopefully you guys will hear it soon. Oh, I'm so excited. Hey guys, hey, okay. Whew, whew. Mm, it's gonna be Tiger Night. Pancake! Oh my gosh, thank you so much for using your Twitch Prime to, to become one of our little sub eggs. We can actually have ostriches. <gasps> I need to add back in Queen Smaggle. Why do I not have Queen Smaggle yet? Maybe we will add in an ostrich to our zoo tonight. I miss Queen Smaggle so much. She was like the queen of ostriches, quite literally. Dizzy, hey! Dizzy, I am so envious that you had tiger triplets. That that just blows my mind. I know tigers can have between one and four cubs, but so far we've only had one cub. And yes, my friends, if you joined us for the stream we did on YouTube, we made the new Pixel Biology Conservation Breeding Zoo. And that'll be the zoo that we go to when we are going to be spending time uh, just kind of like breeding up the animals and uh, streaming. Because I, don't, I feel like it could get really confusing if we use our daily zoo for our daily episodes of Planet Zoo for streaming. Because not everybody can catch up with like two to three hours of a stream. So I don't want to lose the like, oh, gentlemen, you! Thank you so much for your three month streak. <gasps> You've hatched! Gentlemen, you! You're the very first one who has hatched! <gasps> you guys! What a special moment! I need to screenshot this! Hang on a second! For the very first time in our Twitch history, we have had a hatching. Gentleman New has hatched from an egg sub into a chicken sub. <laughs> the very first one out of the shell! <laughs> that is so exciting! <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, you're so right, Tara Shine. And you is now like roosting on top of the other eggs. That is so adorable. Mama Nyu. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my gosh. That is so yeah, congratulations, Nyu. Oh, the amazing Plibbit. Welcome. Oh, let's see, let's see. Oh, Terrestria Tovus! I oh my gosh! No, the amazing Plibbit, welcome and Terrestria Tovus! You- you're a chicken now, too! <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are starting to hatch! I can't believe we've been trying to do, like, our streams for three months now. <gasps> Windfallen! You've been hatched, too! 
So where's my little screenshot thing? This is such a special day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I am so, so amazed that we have been doing this for so long. And honestly, I really feel like getting our Planet Zoo adventures up and going is going to be the core of a lot of what we do going forward. I am so freaking excited. <gasps> tigers, one, two, three. That's what I hope to have happen tonight. Tigers, lots of tigers. Oh my gosh, Wing Stealer again. <laughs> Oh, thank you. And Dizzy, thank you. Look at you guys. Oh my gosh. New, okay, new Windfallen Terrestrial Tovis. You guys are the lead chickens here, and you're going to be in charge of all of these eggs. <laughs> and welcome, Samara. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> You guys are going to need to definitely take care of all those eggs. That's going to be amazing. And Wessie Rose, I think this is the three month anniversary of the streams. And I just didn't realize that I need to start putting these down on like the calendar because that is just so special. Also, you guys, if you happen to have um, the ability to hear the music, let me know. And if not, I will tweak it a little bit more. Oh, let's see. Oh, Nature of Gaming. Have a good time. Oh, wait, 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 I see. I thought you were saying you had to go do some odd jobs now. Okay, I need to kind of like, whoo, because that really got me so excited. <laughs> Can you, oh, don't worry, you, we're going to be doing your zoo tour. I'll message you. There's been some big family things happening this week, you. I'm really sorry that I haven't like caught up on things yet, but like my sister's house caught on fire this week, among other things. It's been a hectic one. But things are going well now. Oh, Panda Blaze! Welcome! We've got pandas! We do have pandas! But it's been... I know, I know! Bowling for otters, we might need a bigger nest. <laughs> we might indeed need a bigger nest. My sister's okay, just for the record. But one of the cats jumped on her stove and turned on her stove this week. And so her daughter got home from school uh, and the stove was melting in the kitchen and that was a little exciting and the thing is my sister had just been in a car accident an hour before her house caught fire uh and so she couldn't even get home to do anything about it because she was downtown with a wrecked car and she had a terrible day so i've been really busy this week basically like sissy calling her all the time are you okay do you need a pizza tonight? I'll order you a pizza. So that's been a hectic week. And I would like to remind everybody to wear your seatbelts and don't let your cats jump on the oven. Uh, but yeah, the cat's okay. All the animals in her house are okay. Uh, ironically, like it just the stove kind of melted and nothing charred. There was a little bit of soot. She, it's the weirdest, weirdest thing. And ironically, they already had a new stove that they were going to use in the garage. So like they replaced the stove, her, her husband is a handyman. So he was able to replace the stove like right away. <laughs> um, and now it's like nothing happened except my poor sister was traumatized all week. So I've been checking in on her. <laughs> so definitely, definitely like don't let your cats play on the stove uh, or your dog's guinea pigs or whatever other pet you may have and wear your seat belts. This week could have been a lot worse for me if my sister and her husband hadn't been wearing their seatbelts. So wear your seatbelts. But that's how my week has gone and that's why I've been a little busy. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I really felt so bad for my sister. I was like, what kind of luck did you destroy? Okay, but anyway, Sleepy Kitten, yes. On the flamingo thing, they are pink because of the crustaceans and krill that they eat. And then one last thing, I'm just going to check on the music thing again. I've been so distracted. Luna Lee, thank you so much for telling Sleepy Kitten about that. I am so appreciative. It's the beta carotene that is especially present in the mollusks and crustaceans that snack on similar pigment packing carotenoids, which is really cool. So basically flamingos are pink because of what they eat. And that's why flamingo babies take a couple years to go from that white gray look that they have to beautiful pink flamingos and hey animal fan oh so excited to see you okay music is quiet but present all right thank you wessie i'll turn it up just a tiny bit more but all right guys so enough about the weird luck of the week we're gonna turn all of that around and tonight we are going to welcome gary and sam tonight we are going to breed up some baby tigers for the eye of the tiger event and if you guys saw the episode on our YouTube channel today, and I think I've got, like, do I have a little, does that work? 
Maybe it's YouTube. There we go. If you saw the episode on our YouTube channel today, we actually already have our first baby tiger, and I'm going to introduce you in just a second here. Uh, but before I do that, I wanted to show you guys, I think I figured out how you can find out what you can get from the community events. So if you come into franchise, oh wait, I forgot to show you guys chips. Oh yay. All right. We've got more, more of our little conservation credits for the daily event, but I forgot to show you guys chips. He started playing too. He finally finished writing a lot of his papers and we got a chance to play together. So he made an avatar last night. This looks nothing like him. He likes to make really silly looking avatars in every game he plays. So if you thought this was some kind of amazing face reveal of the love of my life, my partner, my best friend, you know, the, the one who shares everything with me and helped to make homemade vegan pizzas for lunch this afternoon. I don't know this man. I don't, I don't know this person. Mm -mm. This isn't my chips. This looks nothing like him. This is honestly, I don't think he even changed the avatar. I think he just loaded up the game. So <laughs> yeah, that's him. Um, but this is not the grand face reveal. It's really fun. He and I had a great time playing last night together, like a couple playing Planet Zoo. Be still my freaking heart, like life goals. But we play very differently. Chip sat down and he made, he he made what I can only describe as a 15 loop-de-loop -loop monorail roller coaster that led up to a floating island in the sky upon which he put red pandas, aardvarks, and bears. So to see his zoo, you would have to walk in as a guest. You had to go up a big, huge set of stairs into the sky, get onto the monorail, ride the monorail up 15 loop-de-loops down to a floating island, get off the floating at the floating island and then you could go see the red pandas and the aardvarks and the bears so <laughs> we play really differently but it was so amazing because he kept doing these things like making a set of stairs that just disappeared into the sky and i was like can you do that and apparently you can making a 15 story loop to loop out of the monorail i was like can you do that does that work apparently it does so I kept joking with him that I should have gotten him Planet Coaster instead of Planet Zoo, but then he put out some of the red pandas and it was just freaking adorable. So that was really, really fun. I had a really good time doing that with him. Uh, yeah, yeah, Bowling for Otters, it was a lot of work for the guests to see the animals. Uh, so it was pretty hilarious. But if you guys like had no idea about how, how diverse you could make Planet Zoo, the tools are there to literally do stuff like a 15 story loop to loop to a floating island of pandas. So yeah, that happened. That was cool. That was really cool. <laughs> Why is he in Greenland? Dulcer, I don't know. Yeah, he's rocking kind of like a Bob Ross style, right? Smaggle Daggle. I'll have to ask him why he chose uh, Greenland. Maybe it was as close as he could get to Iceland because we loved when we popped over to Iceland. Uh, for his birthday last year, I took him to his favorite place in the world. One of them, uh, the British Museum, which is, there we go, there we go. So we went to the British Museum and one of the ways that you flew back to our home in Michigan was over into London and then phew, you'd bounce to Iceland and then you would bounce back home. Uh, that was before WoW Air went out of business and we loved our time in Iceland. I saw puffins. It was magical. All right, but let me go ahead and get into the franchise mode and I'll show you guys what I learned about how you can see what's going on with the community challenges and what you can potentially earn for breeding up baby tigers. Oh, Jasmine, are you talking about the milk? Oh, hey! Welcome in a cream. Welcome, welcome. Are you talking about the milk that the flamingos produce? Flamingos produce a kind of milk for their, their babies, like a lot of bird species, actually. Uh, pigeons also produce a sort of milky substance from their mouth. Uh, they don't have, like, mammonary glands like mammals do. Hence the name, mammonary gland. Uh, but they do produce a milk from their mouth that they can create, and pigeons do the same thing. Yeah, I saw puffins. I'll show you guys pictures of puffins. It was magical. I will show you pictures of the puffins that we saw. But, uh, so I was really wondering, when I bred up the first tiger 
in the Pixel Sanctuary for our episode on the main channel today. That tiger resulted in like 25 conservation credits, which as you guys know, don't really go that far on the animal market. So I was like, hmm, that was a little weird. I thought you would get maybe a bigger reward for these community events. So if you come over to Franchise Achievement, you can actually see the current community challenges. And there's these little blacked out icons. So I think the first challenge, you get conservation credit if you produce one baby. I don't know how many babies, maybe it's just two babies for the next one, but you get pants, maybe an animal for the third one, a shirt for the fourth one and a hat. And I want a tiger hat. If we can produce enough tigers to get a tiger hat, that would be amazing. So we're gonna be working in our pixel sanctuary. And that is the very special zoo that we do for these streams and for the community events and other challenges or special events like celebrating an animal holiday that we might do. And we're gonna leave Zudestia Zoo alone so that you don't ever miss a moment in the episodes that we have every day on the channel. Um, but we, we, there will be Planet Zoo every day, but sometimes I'll have like these streams as the daily episode instead. Uh, so I don't, you know, destroy myself. All right. Anyway, let's get in and let's be having some babies. And yes, Smaggle Daggle, the rewards are timed based, I think. I think they're timed based exclusives. That would be my goal. I don't think that the rewards just like, you know, are, are I think the rewards are meant to really motivate you. So I'm assuming that the rewards you can only get if you have like the time based goal. All right, and, and exactly, Cinnamon. It, the, you guys are all so amazing in chat. I just freaking love doing this with you. But all right, so, you guys. Tiger babies! Let me introduce those of you who haven't had a chance to see today's episode to... Onyx! Oh, Onyx, look at him! Isn't he the most precious little thing ever? I am so freaking in love with him. Look at him. Look at him. Okay, we're going to watch him for just a minute. While we, while we go ahead and settle in for the day. He's playing with a bug. Isn't he so cute? Where are you going, buddy? Are you walking into a tree? You should, oh my gosh. Okay, I can accept a little bit of clipping. That's fine. He just climbed. He just climbed that tree. That was so cute. <laughs> okay, can you guys hear his little squeaking? Let me know if I need to turn it up because he makes the most adorable little me. Listen to him. Okay, so you guys can hear his little meowing. Oh, his squeaking is just so precious. I love him so much. I know, right, Pancake? His legs are just so soft. Oh, is mom talking back? He's fussing and I think mom was talking back. Oh my gosh, that's so precious. And they do grow up so fast bowling for otters. So this is our little baby Bengal tiger. Uh, when he becomes four, he will actually, according to the Zoopedia, become sexually mature and we can get him a girlfriend from the animal market. I've been saving my conservation credits specifically for this. And then we can try breeding even more tigers. And let's see, is this mom? Oh, the vet research is complete. Is that more about tigers? No, it's about the giant burrow and cockroach. Excellent. Oh, we have two vets. Nice. Is that mom? Yeah, there's mom. So here's Jade. She is our nine-year-old female. And if we come over, oh, the mechanic research is complete. Yes. There we go. And Pretzel, the Amazonian centipede, is expecting offspring. Where'd the baby go? <gasps> Onyx! That was so cute. You guys, I love him. <laughs> I love him. And yeah, time can go by so fast. It really can go by so fast, but we're good. All right, let's see. Let's 
Oh, he's so precious. I'm a little worried about him swimming. Like, that actually really spooked me. He's going back in. Okay, he's just getting a little bit of water. I kind of want to put down some rocks to, like, make sure that he doesn't just drown. Do I have any tropical rocks? I do. Can I just stick some... I kind of want to stick some tropical rocks up along their waterway because I think that would make it look a lot nicer. Uh, but basically, our goal tonight is to breed up a lot of tigers. And if we go over to the Zoopedia... Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh oh my gosh that's so <gasps> you guys this is beautiful this is so beautiful And Altopia, I don't think they can drown either, but I just, like, want to provide the illusion of protecting our tiger cub, so maybe I will put some rocks around it. Wow, this is so beautiful. All right, is that mom? Oh, he is so fussy. Why is somebody in a crate? Topaz, why are you in a crate? I do not know why Topaz was in a crate. I might have put down an item earlier that, like, freaked out the setup. Are you okay, Topaz? <laughs> Yeah, you're okay. Oh, they're beautiful, you guys. They are so beautiful. But all right, so our goal while we wait for them to get old enough to have more babies and to add another exhibit so that we can uh, we can add in a female tiger for Onyx when he comes of age is to make sure that we take good care of this zoo because this is going to be the foundation from which we're going to try to create tons of spaces to breed up the rare animals, to experiment with genetics, to try to get some albino animals, and to just have a good time. We also need to get Queen Smaggledaggle in here at some point. I am aware of that. All right, so I think what we're going to go ahead and work on first is just sort of sprucing some things up while we wait for him to grow up. Uh, so what say you guys? Let's do Let's pick something. Should we work on the tiger exhibit? Should we work on the guest facilities? Or should we give our wonderful little lunchroom animals <laughs> noodle and pretzel and breakfast, lunch, dinner, dinner, and lunch? Should we give them a new exhibit? So should we do bugs, guests, or should we work on the tigers to improve things for, for which group while we wait? Yay, more of that research. Yes, on the Bengal tigers. Oh, Silver Kitty Cat, I'm so glad you're able to join our adventures. The guest, the guest! <laughs> help the breakfast animals, oh, Wessie Rose. All right, all right. So we'll go ahead and we'll help out the guests because a lot of you guys are saying we should take care of the guest for sure. And I have not taken care of them whatsoever so far. Do they even have a bathroom? Holy moly! Okay, they really want more information. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what I have in blueprint so far. Since this is a new zoo... I haven't researched very many things just yet. Um, in fact, we should probably go ahead and we should get our researchers researching more things. So let's actually grab one of the mechanics. Oh, the vet research is going on. Man, we know everything about the giant burrowing cockroach now. Yes. Do we have a way? We'll have to get a display so that we can share that knowledge with our guest. Oh dear, this is not functioning. Call mechanic to the water treatment place. Okay, I think we need to have uh, another workshop. So I'm going to actually duplicate a couple workshops because I think we need like an engineer. We need to make like a little engineer's hub and hire a few more mechanics just so we can start unlocking things really quickly. So I'm going to put down a little engineering hub. Also, we need to make sure that our tigers don't have their big gigantic glass enclosure crash down on them. All right, and then let's put down a little staff. And there we go. Excellent. So there we go. We have like a little mechanic hub. And let's add in, let's see, mechanic research. Deanna, if you have time and you're not fixing things, 
I think we should go ahead and work on the guest facilities then. So let's do like souvenir shop research so we can get the just a momento. And hats! If we're going to try to work on getting the tiger hat, I want to be able to get the souvenir item, uh, the souvenir like things for the guests too. And what do we have here? Okay, that's fine. We don't need a security guard yet. What? Why is lunch thirsty? Do we not have a zookeeper taking care? Do we need more keepers? How many keepers do we have? Keeper Beth, Keeper Pine. Okay, I think Keeper Beth is on it. All right, we won't worry too much about that. All right, but let's add in more Mac Oh, Pretzel, the Amazonian centipede had offspring. Cool, we'll have to sell them in just a second. Let's get in three more keepers just really quickly so that we can try to do a lot of research. What should we name them really quickly? All right, and let's add these to Pinecone Plaza, our work zone. And then I want to get, I, don't worry, I'm going to focus on, there we go. Is that part, no, 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 not work zone two. I want edit work zone. Pineapple Plaza, there we go. Joe, oh my gosh, you guys are coming up with a lot of J names actually. John, Jane, June. Let's actually go with uh, mechanic, John. Mechanic Jane, and let's go with one more J name, Jim. <laughs> Mechanic Jim, there we go. Here, we'll name her Jim, because this one's a girl, so there we go. All right, and I want these guys to just focus on repairing the habitat. Well, well, I kind of need everything done, uh, and we're gonna assign them to Pinecone Plaza. And let's try to unlock the things as quickly as possible. And then eventually, once their, their contract is up with us, we might release them so we don't have very, very expensive staff fees. All right. Oh, Muggle Muffin! Muggle Muffin, have you also hatched? Oh my gosh. Let's see. Another hatching! You guys, we had another hatching! Thank you so much for three months, Muggle Muffin! Tonight is the first night we have had so many of you guys hatch. Hey, Fluxiness! Oh my gosh. And yes, oh. Jasper would suit a tiger. Ooh, that would be a perfect name for a tiger. Yes, more Mama Hens! Welcome, Mama, uh, Muggle Muffin. Another Mama Hen. All right, let's get that mechanic research scattered on guest-related things then, since you guys want to take care of the people. We'll do drink shops, and then we'll also do a theme. Uh, so let's do a couple of the themes next, so I can start working on those. Let's do the African and the New World theme. There we go. So they're all going to work on that, and then let's see what we can do for our guest. So what is the lowest thing that our guest rating currently reports on? So the zoo reputation... Guest education. Guest, guests are actually really happy, you guys. They have almost five star happiness for our little zoo. Um, but their education is really low. So let's focus on educating them about our amazing animals whilst we wait for them to grow up. So I have actually... <gasps> Topaz, were you roaring? Look at how more muscular he is compared to the female. But I think the females in tigers, which one is larger? Thanks, Topaz. Yeah, you're keeping it real there, boy. <laughs> he is a wild animal. What can we expect? Also, I think the barrier needs repaired. So, no, I don't want to edit it. Yeah, the barrier status needs some repair, so we'll call over one of the mechanics. All right, but when it comes to, like, educating the guests, one of the best things I have found to use so far are just the blueprints. It's been amazing. I should have habitat education blueprints right here. Like, I love this one a lot. It's just a, a basic habitat info board. It's already propped up. I don't have to build it. I found it on the Steam, the Steam workshop. So let's put that down. We'll improve things for our guests so they can, they can learn more about the animals. Should I put it right in the middle? Here, we'll put a couple of them down. One right there, and then we'll put one over here. There we go, so people can learn more about the Bengal tigers. There we go. Oh, thank you, Smaggle Daggle! Our new mod, Smaggle Daggle, is in here telling you guys the facts about our wee little Discord we have. 
It's very fun and full of a lot of animal things right now. Ooh, more vet research done. On the Amazonian giant centipede. Oh, thank you, Cleonis. Thank you very much. Our chickens will have a little treat now. It's very dark right now. In fact, that's a good point, the silver Kit Kat. We now, it's nighttime right now. Oh, look, that guy's like using his cell phone. That's so cool. It's very dark right now. So let's actually get some light in here for our guest whilst we are trying to like wait and figure out what we're doing. Do I have any lights that I can use yet? Yes, I do. We have some plain street lights that I can use. So, I mean, they're not, ooh. I really wish I had something else to use. Oh my. <laughs> I really wish I had something else to use. So you know what, forget that. That is nothing like what I like to have my, my place look like. Let's make a light tree. Let's make a light tree and then we'll just use a decorative light tree everywhere. Dagger, Dagger uh, Station, welcome. Welcome to our group. I really need to get some ostriches in here so that we can have you guys be our little ostriches. All right, let me see. So here's a trick and welcome Ivan. Okay, the K-pop tree would be fantastic. I would love to decorate with K-pop trees, but I'm gonna try to be a little bit more reasonable. <gasps> the lobster claw. Cause we, it is hard to see when it gets dark and I do wanna try to fix that. <gasps> the tamarind trees, perfect. I love these tamarind trees. So here's what we'll try to do. We'll put in a tamarind tree which is gorgeous. And then, oh, I wanna watch our little baby so badly right now. Let's see. So it looks like the only light we currently have unlocked are like these wall lights. Oh, Cotton Kitten! Thank you so much, welcome! Welcome, welcome! Gosh, I am so tickled to have so many of you guys in our little egg nest tonight. We have our, our chickens who hatched today. You guys are going to be very busy watching over all the new members. All right, there we go. I mean, it's it's it does a thing. I don't know what I think. I, I was hoping it would kind of glow a little bit more. But maybe I can hide. Whoa, okay, I'm looking at people's rumps. That's a little rude of me. Sorry, people. It's not personal. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how I can like put this light in. We might just have to wait until I have the ability to use... Hmm. Hey, Caterin! Welcome, welcome! We're gonna be breeding up baby tigers in just a second here. Oh, come on. Don't be stubborn. Oh my gosh, I hear our tigers. I want to spend some time with our tigers in just a second. But I'm trying to make things nicer for our guests, but you just really have to work on it. All right, that works. And we'll see next time it becomes dark if that helps at all. And Sophie Rabbits, welcome to the adventures. Okay, but at least we have the, the education down a little bit. So it looks like the guest education is kind of incrementally improving. How's our baby? Look at you, buddy. He's so cute. And yes, Milo, I'm sorry that the face cam is lagging. Chips and I actually have to upgrade. Oh my gosh, did you just like barrel into your dad? What was that about? Were you just filling your oats, little one? No, he was checking on mom. <laughs> He's almost two now. We might have to think about making him his own exhibit pretty soon. Uh, my webcam is probably lagging just a teensy bit. Uh, because we have to upgrade my computer because Planet Zoo is one beefy, beefy game. But Chips and I are looking into that, but we are definitely gonna do that. So thank you for letting me know. And then uh, Panda Plays. I should make a series in Planet Zoo where each episode is on about a different animal, but in each, I actually have something just kind of like that called a day in the life that I am working on in the background. So keep an eye out for that. We're thinking on the same wavelength, my friend. And then, exactly, Folksy. I figure if we can get this tree set up so that it has like some lights pointing down just right, we can actually copy paste all of it like this. And then we can come in and make sure that we're like clicking on the lights as well. And we can copy it and we can paste it just everywhere. So we can just do our tree of lights properly once. So we'll work on that a little bit. Where's our baby? Is he growing up yet? All right, 
And then, what on earth are all of you people doing? Oh my gosh, wait! Oh, can't find an accessible staff room. I think that you finally had... What? You guys can't find... What happened to your staff room, friends? Okay, never mind. Now they're fine. Alright, so they're still doing some research. Uh, but we do need to take care of these guests. So, I want to... Let's focus on getting them educated about the tigers for now. There's so much to do. So, if I seem a little bit like... Meh, at times, I'm just getting used to all of it. It's so cool. You can have security cameras? That's going to be so useful for the future. That is going to be so useful for the future. All right. But let's educate them a little bit more. Oh, and let's do the ambiance speakers. So we're going to get these ambiance speakers put down to help our guests feel like more at peace and engaged in the area. So what you do is you put these speakers down and then you click on them. And now I can say Asian forest. I don't hear anything just yet, but that's going to make some nice, like, ambient sounds that are... And we'll do birds of the jungle here. I'll make sure those have power. And then let's do the... Maybe jungle rain right there. And I'm going to make sure those have power really quickly. Yeah, there we go. Now we hear the birds. So now it's going to sound kind of like a jungle when people come and check on it. Um, and yes, yes. So the tigers, fem the tiger females. Oh, and we'll check in on uh, pinecone in just a second. But I see some of you guys talking about like the animal facts. And it's true. The tiger females usually take care of their own cubs by themselves. But there have been documented uh, cases of tiger males kind of staying in the same area and quote unquote kind of helping with the hunt or with watching over a tiger cub but it won't be anything like what you would see in say a wolf pack where you see active like grooming and playing and hunting for a baby from the male uh the male father the tigers the guys usually control like a big territory kind of like lion like well, even lions have more interaction with their cubs than tigers do but there are exceptions to the rule as some of my favorite guides on safari live say like the animals don't read the guidebooks so <laughs> they sometimes will vary significantly from how they're usually like average act. And there have been cases of wild male tigers who seem to stick around an area. They don't attack the females. They don't attack the cubs that are theirs. Um, I, I wonder if it has to do, oh, hey, Poochie, welcome. I wonder if it has to do with how confident a male tiger feels about his territory. Because like jaguars in South Africa, if they feel really confident that a territory is controlled and patrolled by them, then they won't attack the females and the cubs inside their territory because they kind of assume this is probably my offspring. And they won't go out of their way to take care of it, but they won't like attack the baby when other big cat species would. All right, we've got more food shops. We'll pick a food shop, you guys. And the Amazonian giant centipede has more research. Uh, also, is this being replaced? Okay, that, that needs replaced. And then we'll go ahead and let's... Yeah, the frozen blood pumpkins need replaced. All right, we're working on that. Did I say jaguar? I meant leopard. Sorry. I've been a little tired. <laughs> I meant leopard, the other spotty one. All right, and then let's put an educational speaker down to educate more people about the tigers. But yeah, I always get my spots mixed up when I have to tell people about them. So I 100% <gasps> Mango, no! I didn't mean Jaguar, I meant Leopard. Rest in peace, little one. You started an empire, my tiniest, the tiniest pangolin. She was our tiniest pangolin, guys. Oh, Mango. She lived to 12.6 years and died of old age. We have another pangolin about to have a baby. Mayhew. 
If you have a girl, I'm going to name it Mango the Second. And if you have no, like if you have a boy, I'm going to name you Mango the Second because I haven't had a chance to name you yet. Okay, let's let's watch for this offspring. Did she offspring due November? Oh, her offspring is due in November. All right, I think we should just rename her because we didn't have a chance to name her to Mango the Second. So she needs to, she is also extremely tiny and she's sickly. Oh, Mango the Second. You guys, I think we should go ahead and we should apply some contraceptives. So after she has this baby, we won't have any more from her. That's my bad. I should have noticed that she was a sickly pangolin um, by going through and checking on them. But we don't have a right to breed any more sickly ones. So I'm going to go ahead and like after she has this baby, apparently, apparently it won't take effect until after she has the baby. But after she has the baby, we're going to put her on contraceptives so she won't actually have any more. But you know who doesn't need to be on contraceptives? Our cockroaches, of which there are a lot of them. I think everybody loves our little lunchroom cockroaches so much. So we actually... Tyson? Wait. <gasps> have some of my cockroaches died of old age? Where's lunch? No lunch litter? They're all there? Okay, I don't know why our cockroaches are like that. Uh, time to clean out the cockroaches. The pangolins need some lunch. So, shall we carry on, friends? Uh, we need to come in. And I'm gonna find everybody who isn't named after food is going to be, except for the pregnant ones. We'll go ahead and leave the pregnant ones in there for now. All right, and Trinity, we're gonna send them all to the trade center. This is actually a really great way to get a little bit of extra money. And then we're actually going to sell all of them except for the gold level Amazonian giant centipedes. Hello, hello. We'll quick trade these. We'll say that was the cycle of life. Our feeder insects have gone off to uh, join the pangolins. Sorry, guys. And then let's check in on our centipedes while we're over here. And then we need to work on some of the education. And then I want to I wanna grow our little... Whoops, sorry, guys. I want to grow our little tiger up. And I want to go ahead and have him have some babies soon. So let's get out all of the centipedes who are not named after food. It, pretzel and noodle, these are all their children. And we'll leave Maria because apparently she is pregnant. So we're going to send them all to the trade center. Exhibit trading. So these are the ones we got. So we have Jose, Alina, Pedro. I'll sell these three, just three centipedes and $1,000. That's like enough to get a whole new habitat. That's fantastic. And we'll keep this female because apparently we have like some really, really great fertile males who are worth 500 a piece. What? Gold level centipedes? Did you guys know gold level centipedes would sell for 500? Would you buy a centipede for 500? I would really have to think about that, but would you guys do it? And their centipedes just had even more babies. So let me go ahead and collect all the ones that aren't immediately related. Move to trade center. All right. Hang on a second. We have like really fancy oh my gosh another 500 level centipede i think we need to expand with a we should expand with some food for our guest and another exhibit like a centipede exhibit oh my gosh and we might even say it's like i don't know bug burgers that would be interesting all right we're gonna keep the the female who's like a level 500 that's amazing oh good night sophia wait did i grab pretzel no, pretzel should still be in here. Yeah, pretzel's still in here. Do not fret. We've got it. All right, but let's go ahead and check in on the baby tigers as soon as I set these education pieces. And the barrier is really taking a hit. I think I should go ahead and maybe... How's the vet research? More Bengal tiger research, so we're going to have more to the Zoopedia as a result. How's the mechanic research? Going good. I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to grab one of our mechanics and their only job is going to be uh, to do research. Let's grab Deanna. What is she researching right now? Or our own, Their only job is to focus on... I think I'm going to cancel Jim on research and we're going to make mechanic Jim focus on just fixing the barriers. 
because I want to make sure that they stay safe. So, Jim, let me grab you, my dear. Uh, where are you? Okay, there she is. So we're going to have her only focus on repairing the habitat walls. Like, that's going to be her total job in life, is just repairing those walls. And hopefully that will help. <gasps> the pangolin walls are really wearing down. We're about to have escaping pangolins, and I'm not exactly sure how that would work out. All right, let's see. Yeah, we don't need the tigers attacking the guests. Okay, good. No, not good. We still have broken glass. Okay, hopefully mechanic Jim or somebody will come and start fixing things. <gasps> That's an inspector! I've never actually seen them. I didn't know they like physically came to your exhibit. Oh my gosh. Uh, Let's spruce this place up like really fast. Let's get some education down here. All right. Hey, Lola Rose, Jay, welcome. Welcome, we're gonna have baby tigers any minute now. I need to like get over here. The inspector is here, you guys. Let's throw down some plants really quickly. Like, we need to take this kind of seriously, no pun intended. I don't want a bad inspection for my zoo. That could impact, like, how well we can take care of it. All right. I probably need to scooch the exhibit back a little bit. And let's just get some plants. I do love my plants. Maybe some bamboo. I do love my bamboo. We can actually lower it down a little bit. Hey, oh, Dizzy! Dizzy, thank you for following along. I always love seeing your comments on all of our videos. It just, it makes me so happy. Oh, hey, there's some VIP guests. We'll take a look at them in just a second. Coconut palm tree. Actually, I don't want that. All right, all right. Hey, Bendelbits, welcome! <laughs> all right, so let's see. I need to hide a few more of the spots where we have, like, the inspector has left. What's the... The cleanliness is great. The habitats are awesome. We suck at educating our guests. No, this is supposed to be a conservation breeding facility where we really focus on doing that. Oh, dear. All right. Well, we need to add in... Oh, this is what I'm looking for. Like, already pre-built... Oh, this is so pretty. This is like an already pre-built little design. <gasps> that reminds me. I actually want to put down... I hear a little tiger cub. I do have something I want to put down that I have been waiting and saving to share with you guys. Let me smooth this out really quickly. There we go. But there is a cool blueprint I found that I have been so in love with. All of these blueprints are from the Steam Workshop. So if building meticulously yourself, some of these exhibits feel super overwhelming. All you need to do is just go to the Steam Workshop and you can download things left, right, and center that you can just use to decorate. And if you see that it has like a little lock symbol, that means that you need to unlock the items. That's why I have so many mechanics right now to be able to get those things. So some of, oh, a new world herpetarium. That's right. There's like a little tree house that I found for primates. Let's speed things up just a little bit so it won't stay dark so long. There's like natural ivy caves. And the thing is, I feel like you could use these not only for the animals, but also as decorations. And there's a really, really cool tree pathway. Oh, a tropical water. Oh, that's beautiful. Holy cow. You guys, I think we should actually put the tropical waterfall kind of like back here. And then maybe we should make a goal of having like tiger enclosure, tiger enclosure, tiger enclosure, tiger enclosure. And then you can walk through and see the tiger enclosures on all four sides and just have these gorgeous tropical, like a gorgeous tropical waterfall back here. Maybe one inside of the tiger enclosures, like so beautiful. And it is a lot of money, but you know what else is a lot of money? Apparently breeding cockroaches and centipedes. So I think we should ramp up our breeding capabilities um, for sure. Let me see. Do I have a tiger enclosure? Tiger, Darwin Breeding Center, Cats and Hats, Chinese Zoo. <laughs> Let's see, African Shelter. Here's another giant waterfall. A person that likes cats. <laughs> Welcome, welcome to our adventures. What do you guys think? We need, I need this giant waterfall in my life. 
I need this giant waterfall in my life. Look at how beautiful it is. Of course, it's literally in the middle of a monsoon. I want more water. That's what I want in life right now. There's also natural shelters. Ooh, that one has a waterfall too. And I figure what we could do is you can take what people have made to be natural shelters for the animals. And we could actually delete several of the items, clear it out and put a shop inside. So that's what I'm thinking we should do for like decorating quickly. In case we feel kind of overwhelmed at trying to do the decorating ourselves, we can just put down these blueprints and then kind of stitch them together with paths and trees. And the tree path that I really, really want to work with is... Where is it? Okay, there's Tiger Alcove, a Tiger Den. Ooh, okay. A Tropical Cave. But the one I really want to work with... Hmm. Where is it? Not the bards to peer habitat. I hear our little tiger cub making a fuss. Not the breeding center. Give me just a second, guys, because I have a really cool... Oh, the appetite wall. I need to show you that, too. I have a really cool path. <gasps> Mango the second is about to have offspring! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there it is! The jungle walkway! Okay, we can't see any of it, but I want to make a jungle walkway. And then what we'll do is we'll put down a jungle walkway and we will have path, a path go through it and it will lead to the waterfall. And then we'll have little paths going off on either side where you can go and see the tiger exhibits. It's, it's going to be amazing and it will celebrate our tigers. But let's go see if Mango's offspring is going to be a little girl so we can name it Mango the third. And then we need to give her her contraceptives. Mystic, hey! Oh, I'm so excited to see you. I hope you're having a great night. I hope you and your family are doing well. <gasps> Mango, is that your baby? I think this is Mango's baby. <gasps> it's a little, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 that one's already a few, a few minutes old. That can't be your baby. Is this your baby? Mango, this is your baby. Okay, guys, can you give me the name of another fruit? Mango has just had a little baby boy named Boquin and he actually is pretty healthy, so we can leave him be. Look at you! Oh, grape! That's kind of cute. That's- oh, dragon fruit! <laughs> he is like a little dragon fruit. Hey, Nikki! Hey, welcome, Nikki! Just in time to see a little baby! Durian? Oh my gosh. Okay, Swan Feather. I'm gonna name him Durian. After one of the stinkiest and weirdest fruits I have ever eaten. We had an old durian uh, when Chips and I and his family, we had a funky fruit day where we went to the Asian market and we bought like a ton of different fruits and we prepared a ton of them and things like the sand pear, delicious. Uh, things like the star fruit, pretty cool. Kind of, kind of not the best star fruit I've ever had, but the nice one. And then the durian we had, apparently the only way you ever want to eat durian is really fresh, is like you plucked it that day. You don't want it to be more than 24 hours old. We're in the middle of North Carolina. So this durian had probably been plucked months before and frozen. And we had to de-thaw it in this, like in the sink and it filled the house. The house smelled like gasoline because that's what a durian kind of smells like. Uh, gasoline and like dirty baby diapers are the two top ways that people describe the scent of a durian. And then when we cut it open, it was still kind of frozen. And when we ate it, it tasted like pureed garlic ice cream. Some people are really into that. We unanimously decided that we would just kind of have to chuck this durian. But then we realized the horror of, oh, you can't just put the durian in the trash like normal because your whole house is still going to smell like gasoline lit baby diapers. So we ended up taking it to the dump, like to a faraway place. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was it was an event, but I think Durian is a cute little name for this little guy. So he will bear the name well. All right, we've got more mechanic research done. Excellent. Oh my gosh, the mechanics are on a roll. How are our vets? On a roll with those centipedes. Okay, guys, now that we can actually see what's going on. And let's check on our little baby. Where is our little guy? Is that Onyx? <gasps> Topaz! Topaz has become a five-star tiger. So Topaz is doing a great job of being him. Onyx is probably... 
he is going to turn into an adult pretty soon. So let's go ahead and get serious about adding in some of the new pathways. And it will cost a little bit of money, but we will balance that out by getting some gold star centipedes up and going. So let me go ahead and get the jungle path and show you how amazing this is. There's also a jungle greenhouse. <gasps> we should put that down too. All right, here is the jungle path. I have dreams for this. This is gonna be really cool. We're gonna go ahead and put it right here. No, 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 no. Okay, and see how it's floating? When you get items off of the workshop, you might get really overwhelmed at first because you're like, why is it floating? It shouldn't be floating. So what you wanna do is you wanna press X and then use the keys or use the little arrows to lower things down to the ground. So now we have lowered it down and you kind of wanna zoom in and pick pick like the plants and keep an eye on them until you can you figure like, okay, that's the right height for what I want. <gasps> Look at this! Look at this! And just like that, there's this amazing, amazing path. Isn't that so cool? And so what I actually want to do, I have not tried this yet, but there is a path you can put down that is just a natural path that marks the terrain with curb railings or with little curb markers. I've never tried that before, so we're gonna actually try that out and we're gonna paint the terrain down here with a smooth rock. So, let's see, whoops. Let's try that. Let's make, um, we need to name this jungle path, guys. Help me come up with a cool name for this because this is going to be the path to the eye of the tiger. And then we might have to like fast forward a little bit because I do want to make sure that Onyx has some babies too tonight. And I want to see how many tiger cubs we can get. All right, so let me try. I've never tried this before and paths in this game are so hard. <gasps> we have more maturing pangolin. We made it! We made it to the other side! Huzzah! That is... This is so epic. And it took like two minutes. I love this. I love this so much. Okay, okay, hang on guys. So now we're gonna go ahead. We could do another path to kind of like make a little branch. I think we might do another path because we want to have one exhibit here, one here, and one here for our tigers, is what I'm thinking. And the tigers will just kind of be like one of the first things that we'll ever have celebrated in the zoo. So what do you think? Do a second jungle path and then a waterfall? Or should we just start with like this waterfall? The, uh, oh, Fluxiness, the blueprints are made by other users. So you go onto the Steam Workshop and you can download them. And actually one of our amazing community members let me see if I can find it. One of our amazing community members, Wisty Fish, and Wisty, if you're watching, you know, you know, made this living roof shell where it's like a cute little house that just has a living roof on it, and I love it. The path of, oh, the tiger's journey. <gasps> yes, path of the tiger. Okay, guys, I'm gonna make it bigger then because I really love, I love those ideas that you guys are coming up with. So we're gonna put that down. And you may be, oops, I need to make sure. We must make sure, friends, not to have floating trees. Always double check that your trees aren't currently floating. So we're gonna make a gap and then we'll have like a crossroads where you can come out. Um, in fact, actually, let's make the gap a little bigger. There's a jungle greenhouse that would be really cool. Hey, what do you think about this? What if we put down a jungle greenhouse to move the centipedes into? And then we also put down uh, like a jungle, oh my gosh, this jungle toilet. Do you wanna have, let's actually, what do you think about having like a little village right here with shops and with a greenhouse for exhibits so we can move the centipedes into there or maybe get some new new bugs uh, or even snakes, which would be really cool. So why don't we do that all based off these blueprints and then we can also grab one of those, that, that cool waterfall tiger den thing. 
not the giant waterfall. That's going to be at the end. Yeah, do it. Okay, Vitzel Vitz. Yeah, yeah, guys. I think that this, and Ren, you're right. Considering how much they're breeding, a proper greenhouse would be really good for our centipedes. So let's get these down too. Uh, oh, look at the little trouble. Oh, it's so pretty. I cannot wait to deck out our tiger areas. I want to build them to at least have one water feature like that for sure to make sure that they can be really happy. That's that's definitely a big goal. Uh, but all right, so let's look at the greenhouse. This is the tropical greenhouse that I really like. Look at how cool it is. This too, I got off of the uh, Steam Workshop. I wish I could tell you guys who I got them from, but if you search for the titles of what they are, they should pop up. I really wish that it had like tagged the Steam user's name so that you could give credit when you're doing stuff like this, because that would be really great. So I think we'll do the greenhouse kind of like, like over here. Hmm. Yeah, to the side a little bit. So we'll do the greenhouse kind of over here so that people can come walk into it. And then over on this side. Hmm. Bathroom? Is that what they're called? No. Uh, we want jungle. Yeah, a jungle toilet. So if you need to like relieve yourself, then we'll have this cool jungle toilet. And you may wonder, how do the guests get to the toilets that are so high up? Well, you're supposed to use the X key and then check that out. Now your guest will have, boom, the ability to walk to a cool restroom over here. And then we don't want to spend too much money because <laughs> we'll, we'll go like broke before I can add in more spots. But I'm pretty sure, where's that cool den that we had? Not the lion den. Was it this tiger den that we pulled up? No, it wasn't this tiger den. Give me just a second, friends. Leonard has had more children. We really have to like keep up with those. Oh, what a cute little amphibian statue. I can't wait to unlock that. Oh, a basic log information shop. Yes. So like this is a cute little log information shop that looks like it totally fits over here that we can actually add in. We could do two of them. We could put one that's like right over here at this entrance. And then we could do another log information shop over here because people seem to need these a lot like they shop at these a lot so we'll we'll add that in when we have a little bit more money i'm trying not to go too hog wild i really want to go hog wild this isn't sandbox like our money is on the line this is franchise mode all right give me one second was it this one yes so this is the one where i was thinking we could come in and like put in a little restaurant so let me put this down and then we'll move the centipedes because they're going to be making us the money to replace the funds that we lost from doing this. So there's this. And what I'm going to do is you can come in and you can go to edit. And I can start selecting the items that I want to remove. There we go. And... That not only adds back a little bit of money, not like we need to worry about money too much. But now I think I can slip in here. Oh, we have the African wall lights now. Oh, those are so pretty. Holy cow. We'll decorate with those in a minute. But let's come into facilities and let's see what kind of food we should get one of our guests. So there's the African toilets. So let's focus on food. All right, guys, so we currently can serve our guest up Cosmic Cow Ice Cream, Chief Beef, which we, do you want to do the bug burgers? Should we do bug burgers? There's hot dogs, Mexican, Pizza Pen, and Missy Good, which are like cupcakes and things. I'm going to vote for Chief Beef, and then we could do, um, we could say that those are like bug burgers, because we're going to have a little bug spot. Bug burgers? <laughs> Bug cakes, too. Also, sorry, Twilla. Nightbot is being a little bit too stern. I'm going to try to calm him down uh, in a bit. All right, so there's Chief Beef. So look at that. We do have room to be able just to slide this right in there. So people can come over and they can shop inside this den. Look at that. 
So we will decorate it with facades and hide it in just a minute, but actually a really cool facade that I think would really quickly help us with this is actually these cool living wall planters that people have started to make. Let me, hang on. Okay, turn around, show off your stuff. Ta-da! Look at how beautiful those are. Are they not gorgeous? And we can just slide this living wall planter in like so. We can't cover up like the whole front. But whoever made these is like my ultimate best friend on the Steam Workshop because look at how immediately we filled in that space. It's like my living wall. Behold. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. I actually, on my vlog channel, I showed you guys how I made that. It was pretty easy, uh, which was really fun. But all right, so let's go ahead and get the paths down. And over here, I think we'll go ahead and do tree bark path. Yes. Oh, hey, Radam, welcome. Welcome to the adventures. In just a moment here, we'll hopefully be having little tiger cubs for you to enjoy as well, my friend. Um, so very excited to see you. All right, let's add some tree bark path over here. Let's get this all hooked up so that the guests can start coming over here. And then we'll kind of tidy it up a little bit, really fill in where the paths are going. Uh, we'll definitely set up the exhibit area pretty soon. All right, and then we'll transition from the shiny, shiny path. And loop this way, there we go. Nice, okay, so hopefully with all of that set up, we will be prepared for when little Onyx is about to grow up and we can start kind of, oh, water treatment failed. Mechanic. And the bug burgers, yes, Betzel. We need to, we need to rename the bug burgers really quickly. And then I think we need to go through, so she's waiting over here. Oh, no power. How could we fix that, you guys? Because actually, Oh no, my greenhouse is floating still. Well, I mean, actually that's kind of cool to have it floating, but it's not ideal. So there we go. All right, down you go. Oh, that's so cool. So we can actually see what based off the paths that are inside. There, all right. So the greenhouse also currently doesn't have any power. None of these do. And I have a trick for that too. These blueprints make the entire difference about what you can do. <clears throat> all right, give me one second, friends. I have another blueprint that I need to show you guys that actually are not that one. Here's the transformer. Not the living wall. I need to start harding these. Flowered up simple shelter. Flower power. Frog and sneak exhibit. <laughs> I've been a little busy. Um, just a little bit busy. <gasps> That's right, the giant mushroom selection. And there's mushroom lamps. I have mushroom lamps downloaded somewhere too. So we. that's one of the reasons we need to unlock so many things. All right. Hang in there, friends. I actually have a transformer. And if you guys could keep an eye on like the alerts and like spam me if I'm missing something important, like really important, let me know. Natural World Herpetarium. <gasps> the mushroom lamps! I do have the mushroom lamp ability. Will they light things up? Please light things up. Lamps, oh, I don't think they have the lights in them. Fooey, I'll have to fix them so that they have the lights in them. Uh, but I'm looking for has died? No dinner. Okay, we've got to pause for just a second so I can find this and we can take care of the fact that dinner has passed on, my friends. I know, aren't those mushroom lamps so cool? Oh yeah, and there's the shade roof that we can put next to the guest, like pathways so they can be out of the rain, which would be really cool, except the rain also means they buy umbrellas and that means money. We're actually recovering the money that we spent really well. Where on earth? Is that it? No flower power. I am sorry, guys. It's as you can tell, once you start getting a lot of these, it can be a little bit difficult to organize them. 
Oh. Hmm. Material. My filters. <gasps> I can make a new tag? Okay, I take back what I said about it being difficult to organize them. That's going to make it so much easier. Okay, what I'm looking for... Oh, here's a wood street lamp. That's kind of cute. But what I'm looking for is we actually have... Here's a tropical scenery set. There's tropical sleeping rocks. Those would make for good decorations. Oh, would you stop? And yes, Smuggle Duggle, there are actually mist cannons. And I'll show you guys the mist cannons in just a second. Hmm. All right. Where are you? Built for donation boxes. I have donation box covers now. Yeah, these are kind of the secret. Here's like the one of the transformers that's kind of like hidden away. And we might go with that one for now, but I do have another one. Decorative information sign. Hey, all right, welcome. Welcome, welcome to the adventures. In just a second here, we're gonna get some power going on. The eco here we go, the electricity and pumping station. Check this out. This is actually a station where it's all built neat and tidy so the guest finally won't fuss about if they happen to glance at it while they are out and about. But this has the electricity and it has, oh my gosh, look at that. So it has the electricity and it has the power so that now we have actually powered all of these things over here. So where did that electricity and station go? Right there, I'm gonna give it a little heart. But look at that, because that is so much nicer. It's beautiful now. And I didn't think that I'd be saying that about an electricity center. Uh, I kind of want to like rip out the bathrooms from this and rebuild that into an electricity center too. But that gets our water and it gets our electricity, the two basic utilities we need, done so that they no longer just look like that. Isn't that so much nicer? I know, right, Gumdrop Horse? It's so much nicer. And Animal Fan, it's got plants in it. The, the plants on it, that's why you like it, Siri. Yes, Animal Fan. Yes, that's why I'm squeaking with joy over an electricity center. <laughs> you have caught me. You have caught me. All right, let's put in the staff path to it. There we go. And then we'll wrap the tree bark path around. And then we actually need to probably add in some new staff for this section. Um, so we'll do that really quickly. And then I want to see some baby tigers. It is so hard to get the baby tigers. So I have more tricks up my sleeve. There's the modern and wild staff area, which contains all of the staff shops we need. But this is nature's staff room. So if you want to make your staff room alone look really nice, holy cow, like immense holy cow. I think we're going to go ahead and just to get this done so that we can have our animals up and going, I think I'm going to invest the $27,000 in having just a great natural staff room added in so that we can have them attending to all of our tigers over here. This is more than I intended but I think that we'll really benefit from it. Can I have them? What do you guys think? Should we go with the one that has everything that we need? It has all of the facilities just done in a really pretty layout, even if it's kind of big. Cause I actually think it could sort of complement, like over here, everything. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right. I agree. Yeah, Dizzy. We will definitely do this. Where should I put it? Because originally I wanted to have like tiger, tiger, tiger. But I think maybe now we'll have like maybe the staff room here and maybe tiger, tiger. Yeah, one, two, three, four tiger. Maybe another tiger up there. It will be worth it in the long run, Silver Cat. I agree. All right, we'll put this over here, I think. And then we'll add some, yeah, we'll put it right about here and we'll add some decorations on both sides so that it doesn't quite stand out this much. All right, let's get it down. And there are paths inside. 
Boom. <gasps> That's so nice. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Let's tour this really quick. <gasps> There's leaves on the wall. There are leaves on the wall. Oh, Terra Shine, if you're debating Planet Zoo, I have like 50 hours in it in less than a week and I still am tickled, surprised, in love with every aspect. This was so worth it, you guys. Look at this. We have the mechanic area. We have the keeper zone so they can just come in and make the food while looking out at beautiful leaves. <gasps> Here is the vet office. So if anything happens, this will be our tiger like research facility. Everything is geared towards the tigers here. This is the trade center. You can't see in there. This is our little research area. And then right over here, here's the staff lounge. So they can come and have a little a little coffee. And then this is the quarantine zone, which you also can't see in. So cool. <laughs> totally worth it you guys totally worth it oh my gosh little leopard <laughs> currently buying game yeah right oh my gosh latte olives welcome 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 all right let's get the path to this place set up so that we can get some new staff over here and then hello and you welcome or and and did you welcome Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. We're gonna have some baby tigers. I am determined to have the baby tigers at some point in all of this hubba baloo. Oh, hey, Big Jack, welcome. Very excited to see you too, my friend. All right, paths, you need to behave yourselves. Also, if you start playing and the paths just like frustrate the heck out of you, have some patience with yourself. Practice does make a huge difference with getting the paths to the point where they can make any kind of logical sense. I promise it's it's not easy. It takes a lot of determination, but eventually, eventually you too can make these paths make some degree of sense. Um, however, I won't say that it's the easiest thing to do. You do have to practice really hard. Okay, there we go. I think they're connected. As long as we can get some of these connected to one another, I think it'll work. And if need be, we'll come in. And as cool as this like rope bar thing is, if we remove this, I think they can wiggle through the whole place. And they actually can get to everything. Because that would be ideal. All right. Let's get down. Almost. Oh. Yeah. The paths can be really really frustrating at first but just have faith and don't give up all right let's put this here can i connect this somehow whoop, 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 whoop. okay hang on whoa hang on guys because we're putting kind of like invisible paths down Okay, I think that's gonna have to work. I think we made it so that there's like two different ways that the staff has, has to get there, but it'll be worth it. All right, and then we'll put down, oh, we should probably turn all of that into staff path. <laughs> Otherwise our guests are gonna be like, why hello, I'm just gonna casually try to come in. Okay, there we go. So if we just put down one staff path, that should prevent the guests from being able to walk on it. There we go. But the paths are one of the hardest things to get used to. So give yourself like patience and then eventually it'll start to make some sense. There, all right. There we go. Awesome. Now we just need to connect it on this side. And then what do you say we focus on trying to get in some tiger babies? Because we haven't even bred up one tiger baby tonight. And I thought that would go a lot faster. Uh, oh, wait, we need the get we need the actual staff back here. <laughs> okay, so we need to add in a new group of staff. Holy cow, there's like a lot of stuff happening. We're done on our Bengal tiger research and the Amazonian centipedes. Yes! Maybe we should get some new animals for the new area, but we'll focus on that in just a bit. You guys have an accessible staff room. I don't know. Oh, because there's so many people. I gotcha. 
We'll relocate a few of our mechanics and our vet, actually. Tyler, hey, welcome. Welcome, welcome to the adventures. All right, so we're gonna, as usual. Oh wait, I need to make work zones. Oh dear. Our centipedes have had many babies. We'll, we'll, we will feed the pangolins in just a moment, but let's make a new work zone. This, and then we'll go ahead and include the tiger habitat here. I wonder, I think we can add a second entrance to it, which would be really nice. And this is going to be a uh, trail of tigers. There we go. Yeah, the animals in the exhibits breed like absolute crazy. A nature of gaming probably at least for another hour. Uh, Cause I want to see tiger babies. <laughs> All right, and then let's go ahead and we are going to relocate some of our mechanics. Well, I'll relocate one mechanic, mechanic Phil to trail of tigers. And we are going to relocate, let's see. We'll have to figure out who that vendor is and relocate her to this area. But let's move Vet Emmy over to Trail of Tigers. And then otherwise, we need to have, oh, I'd say probably two new keepers just to be, well, one new keeper for now to be prepared for this. And we should probably have a caretaker because we're going to start having shops. So what are some names that we should use for our new caretaker? I think the very first one, we don't even have, we have a caretaker before we have a trash can. My priorities might be slightly misaligned. All right, let's see. And I can't really tell who this is. Oh, you can't add multiple staff entries. Thank you all, all Tompia. I'll remember that. Let's see. So we need Kevin. I don't know who that is. So we'll have to like grab her when I have a free moment. Caretaker Sam Sam. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, let's see. Caretaker Sam Sam. Welcome, Sam Sam. And hey, Kevin. In fact, we're just going to call him Hey, Ke hey Kevin because that's what everybody keeps talking about him. And yeah, the Pineco Plaza keepers do have high workloads. So let's actually add another keeper since apparently we can afford it from centipedes right now. Thanks, centipedes. And we have one more new keeper that we will have. So hey, Kevin, you're going to be at Trail of Tigers. Uh, caretaker Sam Sam, you're going to be at Trail of Tigers. We'll have to get another caretaker in a bit. And then we'll have Justine at the Pinecone Plaza. We probably need more uh, rest room, like the staff rooms for them to rest at over here. Good night, April. All right, so what should we go ahead and name her? She's gonna be one of our backup pangolin caretakers. Ah, I love, love, love peach tea. Juliana? Okay. We have a lot of J names tonight. Why not? Uh, Juliana. There we go. Oh, hey, Dead Rose! Welcome! Welcome, welcome! I hope you are enjoying the adventures. Also, I think our staff are so fussy because they don't have enough, like, areas to rest. So I'm going to put down another staff room. And one more, even though I'm a little nervous to like buy so many things all of a sudden. This is ugly. We'll replace this later. But hopefully, before we hit go again and we try to get some tiger babies finally happening, uh, we need to take care of the overpopulation in the cockroach exhibit. <laughs> they have way too many babies. <laughs> so we kind of need to take care of that. All right, pangolins, it is lunchtime. Let's clear out all of the animals that do not have, except for lunch. Or was it dinner who died, guys? Do we need dinner the second? Is that the one that we need? All right, let's put all of those. Was it dinner? Yeah, it's time for them to become lunch. Yeah, I know, tiger. It is, it is a sad cycle of the world, but I do not mind pretending that is what we were doing with them. Was it dinner? Okay, we need a replacement for dinner. Do you guys remember if dinner was a boy or a girl? All right, everybody except the pregnant ones who don't have a food name. There's two D words. Like, no, like that's literally the word, the word. That's his name. All right, there's lunch, there's breakfast. Dinner, yeah, I think dinner was a boy. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick out like a star quality male that we'll leave in there with them. Actually, we should put them in the new exhibits. <gasps> of course. 
Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. All right, last thing before we do tiger babies. Because having these guys breed up a million babies is like the best business plan. All right, hang on, guys. We're back to this chaos of putting down a path. Okay, bear with me. It's going to be a little wild for a second. Got it. Got it. <gasps> Did I get all of it? I got all of it. I got it. <laughs> Can guests get- yeah, look at this! Look at that little mist thing! They can walk through a really cool little mister. They can hopefully see- I hope they can see the- the exhibit animals. Gosh darn it! <laughs> the decorations are on the wrong side. <laughs> okay, okay, hang on. Obstructed- don't you be obstructed, we got this. Okay. Hang in there. Oh, hey, Relly! Relly! You just hatched too! Relly, you've become one of our new mama, like, little chickens! Welcome, welcome! Oh, and I'm so glad you were able to join us too. I think, did your chicken land already? I may need to add more room to the nest. Everybody is getting really cozy in there. <laughs> but welcome, Relly! I'm so glad you were able to make it too. And I hope that Planet Zoo, like, just ask me in the Discord if you need more Planet Zoo advice. Because, like I said, I've suddenly racked up somehow almost 50 hours of gameplay in the first week. So I'm learning a few tricks and happy to share them. I'm very happy to share them. All right. Almost there, friends. All right, there we go. Now we have it so our guests will be able to see the exhibits. Apparently they have to walk around this side. That's fine. And let's request an exhibit animal. All right. <gasps> Look at this female. Okay, we have this really high quality female. Let's see what we have got for the Amazonian centipedes. So here's an excellent, the Piedad female who has fertility of 100 and longevity of 75. And then here, who is our, who, who shall be her mate? <gasps> Fernando. He has fertility of 100, longevity of 58. Do you think it should be Fernando, who shall be the love of her life? <gasps> or should it be Carlos? Because Carlos has longevity of 75. That's almost, you know, 25% better. So, what do you guys think? Who shall romance Piedad? Carlos or Fernando? <laughs> Fernando, a lot of you guys, ooh, you guys are saying, <laughs> a lot of you guys are saying Fernando. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's really cool, Chili, that you learned so much about dogs. Carlos! Oh my gosh, Animal Fan just solved our problem. Animal Fan says, why not both? <laughs> oh, good night, Pancake Fox. Oh my gosh. All right, we'll have Fernando and Piedad uh, go in. And we'll go ahead and we'll let um, Carlos go in too, just because that's hilarious to me. All right, there we go. So we added in these centipedes what should we call their little house because i would love to give their little house like a special name uh like the abode of 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 like leggy love or something i want to give it something silly like what's something soap opera -y? what sounds like the the title what's the title of a centipede soap opera give me the title of a centipede soap opera <laughs> i would love to see that the pedicure, the leggy lodge, <laughs> the legs of love, many legged lives. Oh my gosh! Yeah, days of days of our days of our leggy lives. There we go. Days of our leggy lives. A battle between two love struck love bugs is about to take place. One hundred days of loves. House of a thousand legs. Oh my gosh! Days of our leggy lives shall be the name of their home. I love it. You guys are amazing. <laughs> and Chili, I love that description. A battle of love between these two. All right, we'll give them a broken hollow log and somebody else will have a, na a narrow hollow log and we'll have to see which one she decides shall be the one that, that appeals to her the most. Or maybe it'll be a thin branch. And we'll give them a medium rock pile too. 
Where's the medium rock pile? Oh, it pops up on that side. What about the large rock pile? They can have a large rock pile too. They've got a lot of drama going on in here. And then we need to cool it off a little bit for them. There we go. All right. So I want to rename Piedad, but I want to leave Fernando and Carlos's name. So what should we name Piedad for the romance? Our romantic orientated centipede. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Andrew. Yeah, this is my office background. I, I actually, I didn't make it for streaming. I just made it because it makes me happy, <laughs> but it works out great. Oh, you want to, do you want to, how do I say this correctly? I, I like that one. Do you want Nita? How do you, how do I pronounce this correctly? I failed Spanish twice. Uh, so I want to try to be very, <laughs> very polite, uh, about how I try to pronounce things, but I did fail Spanish twice. So I want to be mm, honest if I struggle with it. Juanita. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Juanita. <laughs> there we go. So we have Juanita and we'll have to come back and see who starts having the babies first because that is going to be so fun. <laughs> oh, I love it, you guys. And then I finally figured out the exhibit education board is specifically for these small exhibits. So I was putting it down. Uh, here, stop. I can't see what I'm doing. And you can, by the way, if you get stuck in that map while you're trying to like put something down, you can actually exit this map while holding the item. And then you can go ahead and be able to visually see where you're trying to put this a little bit more accurately. All right, so we're gonna put this like over here. I feel like we should write a little soap opera book about these bugs now. And we'll add Amazonian giant centipede education spots. There we go. And then we need to add in donation box. And I'm going to show you guys something really freaking cool. So we added in that donation box. It doesn't really seem to match, right? It kind of like, you know, it kind of stands out while we have everything else looking so nice. What, oh, what could we do to make that better? Well, how about this? A donation box cover. <laughs> these oh, it even has lights hallelujah yes so these donation box covers i found on the steam workshop and i just was like oh my gosh yes so you can put those down to really make things blend in better so again yes i totally agree big jack i didn't make this game uh however like i well obviously i didn't make this game what i meant to say was i didn't make this item I was able to get that. I was able to get this build off of the Steam Workshop and start putting it together myself. And welcome, Omega. Yes, yes, exactly, Dead Rose. You can download all of the things that you see. I did not build this because I am nowhere near that skill level, even with 50 hours of gameplay. But this, this cool path, like this really awesome staff room, all of these I got from being on the Steam Workshop. All you have to do is just hit like subscribe to that item and it will put the file into your game so you can pull it up in the blueprints. And once you unlock the items, that's kind of the trick. If you're looking at an item like this one, the panda donation box, I can't use yet because I haven't had my mechanics research those items. Then you can go ahead and just like, oh, look, like here's a fancy spot for like just a normal donation box that wouldn't cover it. But it's just, it's just amazing. Oh, Ivy, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for the pities. Oh my gosh, and thank you so much for inspiring me with your really cute pictures of the pizza you made for your daughter, because Chips and I loved our vegan pizza today. I had no idea it was so easy to make pizza from scratch. But all right, all right, guys, I think it's time. We have our centipedes lined up. We have all of this looking great. We're taking it off pause. Taking it off pause, we need to start making more money, hopefully by having more tigers. Thankfully, the exhibits themselves are actually fairly easy to make. Uh, also, I think I'm gonna move the keeper station. Pretzel is now expecting offspring, but I'm gonna actually move the keeper hut over next to our tigers because maybe that'll make life a little easier for my keepers. I know, right, Chili? I feel like we should make a Hall of Fame. Maybe I'll do, like, some review videos 
uh, of like cool workshop finds that I can find on the Steam Workshop just to help highlight them because it makes it makes it so much less frustrating when you're like, I just need to put some toilets down and I don't want them to look derpy when you can just like grab something like this and feel like, oh, cool. It actually is like reflecting what I'm trying to build here. Our reputation just went up to two stars, which is awesome. And now here comes the tricky part. We're like an hour and a half in and we still don't have, oh geez. Oh geez, there's a lot of pregnant beetles or a lot of pregnant cockroaches. Um, we still don't have any tiger babies. So, <gasps> Exactly, really. I, I maybe I will definitely do some some highlight videos because this. Oh, they have their arms around each other. Oh. And Ivy, yeah. Eventually, I'll hide the staff stuff from view. At the moment, look at them go. Oh wow. This is so cool. And people are headed in there to look at the exhibits and people are over here. Oh, and now Ember, the giant cockroach has had more offspring. Did I rename this to Bug Burgers yet? I don't think I did. All right, almost got it. Okay. Bug Burgers, there we go. Hopefully people will enjoy. Oh, a whole bunch of them just walked away as I renamed it to Bug Burgers. Oh my gosh, Onyx is about to mature. Onyx is about to mature. Oh boy! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Onyx! Onyx! What's going on here? Jade? Jade! You scared me! He's following his dad around! You guys! Yay! New world theme! Good job, mechanics! Okay, I'm gonna follow him. We're gonna watch our little boy until he grows up, and then we will rapidly and very badly build him a new exhibit. And then we will, oh, is he gonna take a little nap and grow up into a big tiger now? The last time we hear his little growl. Are you gonna be a big tiger? Then we'll get him a girlfriend and then we might kind of speed through a couple years to try to get some babies born. Oh, there goes mom or dad. And maybe once he's grown up, I mean, maybe we can even move the male um, if we had some more female tigers. In fact, we should go ahead, get Onyx a female tiger and get another female. <gasps> he's all grown up. Our first little cub is ready for his big life. Oh, little guy. <laughs> big boy, big boy. He's not, he doesn't, he, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We wanna make sure his dad doesn't feel like that's competition. So let's go ahead and I, I feel like this habitat's not very good, but it's all I've got at the moment. So I'm just gonna save this as a blueprint. He did grow up in this and we're just gonna be, we're just gonna call this like, uh quick tiger habitat because I don't think I can there we go a quick and uh, work in progress tiger habitat so when you create a blueprint at least one tag oh my gosh dun 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 uh habitat there and then now I have that saved in my blueprints so that'll be for just like if I come to my blueprints why can I not build my own tiger habitat? What? That's ridiculous. What? <laughs> okay, that shouldn't happen. Uh, but apparently I can't build my own tiger habitat. So we'll have to build one for him from scratch. That's fine. All right, one second guys. We're gonna be like putting down these objects really quickly. In fact, let's do wooden logs on this and we'll make it so he can't climb them because you do actually have the option to make it climb proof on like both sides. So I'm going to make this climb proof. And 
what should we call Onyx's house? So while I do this, I need your guys' help to pick out a cool name for Onyx's house. We're going to have the path come through here. And we're going to have his home be on this side. He's moving right next to mom and dad. Do not fret. And you can see there's climb proof lining on this fencing now. Ooh, the Jade Palace! <gasps> and should we, we should name it the Jade Palace and maybe get him a mate named Jade. What do you think about that? That sounds kind of amazing. Here, I definitely want this to curve like this. Yes! Exactly, nature of gaming, Dizzy. I agree, I think that's genius. Let's make sure we try to make this at least as big. And maybe we'll do glass on this side so you can see from over here too. At least as big, whoops. I want this to curve, please. There we go. And is this the glass? There we go. Curve. There. Oh! Cole Fox, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to our adventures. I swear we're gonna have some tiger cubs in just a second. I know, before we actually finish building the, like, okay, this habitat's getting a little bit big. I've learned the hard way, don't make them too big. But let's put in one of those, uh, and welcome, Matthew. Welcome, welcome. Let's put in one of the jungle waterfalls. Or was it a den that we wanted? Was it this giant? Okay, holy cow, that goes at the back. There's a medium waterfall that we can get him that would be amazing to have. That would be really cool, but that's not the tiger den that we're looking for. So I think we need like the den, lion den, tiger den. Calm it down. Yeah, I think this is the same tiger den. Oh, no, 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 this is a different tiger den. All right, let's try getting him this tiger den and we'll put a custom waterfall in for him. And we'll move the den up a little bit. So hang on one second, friends. Again, this looks so much more intimidating than it actually is to get everything lined up properly on the ground. Are these all just like toys for him? I think. All right, so there's that. And you can see it has a great place for him to go and sleep inside. I love these blueprints because it makes it so much easier on me to just put that down and boom, he's got everything he needs. And then we'll do the waterfall. So there's this, oh, a beautiful tropical waterfall. How does this turn into a waterfall, I wonder? I'm not sure. The medium waterfall. Actually, if we play it for just a second. Ooh. And then the medium waterfall. Let's look at that really quickly. Okay, do you guys think we should do the smaller waterfall or the medium waterfall for our little guy? Should we do the medium one, which is like this and may require like a little bit of wiggling? Uh, or should we do the smaller one and give him more room for toys? Medium? The smaller? Medium? Ooh! Okay, I think we'll go ahead. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with smaller for now. So he has more room for toys and running. Um, and then we'll do like the really pretty tropical waterfall. Ooh. We could figure out how to make that even like a decorative piece. That will be really cool. All right, let's give him the little medium waterfall for now. In fact, we could do two of them if we do the medium waterfall and I do this right. So I can put one there. And th these are actually not very expensive. And I think I can actually put like one, so we can kind of like ripple it, make a cool ripple effect. Cause you can layer these over each other. So look, oh, look at that. How about that guys? And then it'll make like two waterfalls. Ta-da! He has two waterfalls to be able to play with now instead of just one, because we were able to use the smaller size. And I can come in and we can push in the ground here. I'm gonna make this bigger. Whoa, okay. Gently, Siri, gently. And then we can add in some water that easily. I think he's gonna love it. I can't wait to get him a girlfriend. This is gonna be so amazing. I need to make this bigger. Yeah, tigers, exactly, Ren. Tigers do need much bigger. Uh, they do need 
like some swimming spots. Okay, and I think the way the terrain tools are like matching up, that's actually really cool. And then we can put like some plants and some rocks on this side to sort of, like, oh yeah, yeah. We can put some plants and rocks on this side. That looks so cool for him. Oh, I'm gonna love putting Onyx in here. He's our little guy. He's just our little like meh. That's what Onyx does. He makes little fussy noises. All right, and let's come. We are gonna stay a goodly distance away from the rock outcroppings of his den and the waterfall so he doesn't just like jump out of those. And then we're gonna come over to the glass barrier. Can I make that anti-climbable? I cannot. So what's gonna be interesting is what we can do now is we can actually take this barricade and tigers can jump up to six feet so we want to make at least all of these six feet so that we won't lose him when he jumps out. That would be bad. And we'll go ahead and make this one six foot as well. But the others have anti-climbing on them. So I don't think, whoops. I don't think they need to be flat top. Flat top edible bottom. How do I make it so that, whoops, okay. Hey, the honk, welcome. Are you from, are you from the goose? Our, our goose friend by chance? Cause I think about honk and now all I can think about is our untitled goose game. All right, let's try raising these up. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, let's try raising these up. I'm still figuring out, nope, 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 nope. I'm still figuring out how to make happy, happy fences. All right, that's not, that's not how I wanted it. There we go. And I meant meters, not feet. If I said, yeah, it needs to be really high in meters. All right, what do you think you're doing over here? Fence, you and I, we're gonna have a little meeting. Would you stop it? Give me one second, friends. <sighs> and when you're still learning new things in Planet Zoo and you get frustrated, you can always just delete something. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, I think I needed to make sure that that said climb proof and it did not. So we'll go ahead and make sure this is climb proof again on both sides. There we go. Good enough, good enough for me. Six meters is like 20 feet. Thank you, plant queen. Yeah, we wanna make sure that we don't have escaping tigers. All right, Onyx, we're gonna get you out in, in this in just a second after I yell at a fence again. Siri spends time yelling at her fences these days. Nobody really knows what brought this on. And, whoops. Hang in there, Onyx. I'm gonna get you in here, buddy. There we go. All right, then we need to put in a door for the keeper, actually. So let's get a good, can I shimmy? Oh, I think I can shimmy the keeper down through here. Yes, perfect. We can get the keeper kind of wiggled in this way with a little staff path. There we go. In fact, there we go. All right, so now there's like a tiny little staff path here and then we will immediately make it into a big, beautiful, maybe mosaic path, rustic path still. Let's do the stone path, because that's really pretty. Whoops. And one second, friends. Because now... Oh, Onyx! I'm so excited that he's gonna have his very own little spot, you guys. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. And I want him to have a baby before the end of the night, for sure. So we're gonna get him a mate, and we're gonna try to get him a baby in just a second. It takes a lot longer to like get everything set up than you would expect. <laughs> All right, there we go. 
<laughs> we have now gotten all of this in. Now we need to get Onyx in and see if he's going to be happy. And we should find him a girlfriend. So Onyx, let's get you moved before your dad decides like, hey, get out of my territory. Oh, there we go. And we'll add some glass so that um, maybe like tigers like to have their own territory. So it's not like they want to see Onyx, but I like the idea of having glass over here and we can even make it one way glass in the future so that Onyx can have a home. But here we go, guys. Whoops. That's not the button I meant to push. But now we've researched all of the food shops we can research. Yes, we'll work on the barriers now with Mechanic Jam so that we can start getting the one-way glass. All right, where's our boy? Where's our boy? Onyx! No, don't release to the wild. Come here, buddy. And let's name his home the Jade Palace. Uh, tiger. There we go. All right. There. Now we have to wait until somebody runs over with Onyx and drops him in. And while we wait, let's find him a girlfriend. At the Animal Trading Center. We need to find Jade. All right. Her fertility is gone. Fertility is gone. Fertility has gone. I'm so glad I've saved up my conservation credits. Fertility is gone. Okay. She's really small, though. Fertility is gone. Ooh. It's refreshing. All right. Hang in there, guys. It boxed outside of habitat for too long. Onyx, why are you... Oh, my gosh. Why did they just drop him in the staff room? Don't let the tiger loose in the staff room. What are you people doing? Come get the t What are you doing, Sam Sam? Sam Sam, you're lost? Oh my gosh. Hang on, guys. These paths are confusing. Poor Sam Sam. He's lost. He doesn't know what to do. He's having a little bit of a moment. We're going to try to make it okay and, like, connect up the path that's here. Oh, boy, Sam Sam. Oh, boy. Okay, hang on. We have to rescue Sam Sam because he has our tiger. He's kind of got our tiger hostage. I'm not going to lie. Okay, hopefully that worked. But did it connect up? Okay, I think that may have worked. All right, come on. Try again, Sam Sam. Don't wander. Sam Sam. Come on, Sam Sam. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Is somebody coming to rescue my tiger? <laughs> Onyx. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I, see, I think I see a problem here. Okay. All right. All right. Hang on. So that's going to connect up. All right, there we go. Come on, Sam Sam. Onyx? Onyx? Oh! Yes! That rosette has Onyx! I was so worried for a second. I was like, where on earth? Look, she's running down this pathway with a tiger in her arms. <laughs> Sam Sam unfortunately didn't do it, Dire Wolf. He, he, he tried. Uh, Vet Rosette showed up and she was like, look, I've got this. Probably we shouldn't let Sam Sam be handling the tiger anyway. So she is going to hopefully... There we go. <gasps> Here we go! <sighs> Onyx, welcome! Welcome to your new habitat, my boy! All right, let's check on him. How's he feeling so far? Oh, he doesn't feel like he has any hard shelter? You have like a whole den thing over here, friend. Uh, that's actually a really nice hard shelter. Is it because, I don't know why he would feel that way. Hmm, we'll give him just a minute. Pretzel has just had more offspring. Onyx, are you okay, buddy? Are you bored? <laughs> All right, let's give Onyx some, uh, he'll have plenty of enrichment when we get him a mate in just a little bit here too. But let's go ahead and get the Bengal tiger. 
Oh, he's taking a little cat nap, guys. Let's get a water pipe in here just to be sure that he like always utilizes the water. Let's get a large food tray that we can put down so people can watch. And then let's go ahead. I wonder why you feel like you don't have a shelter, buddy. Here, have more rocks if that's the case. Maybe those will help. Whoops. Let's lower those. I have no problem making this look really jungle-like by adding in a lot of different spots if it helps him fill. Yeah, now he... Hmm. Okay, so he felt like he had a hard shelter for a second. Is it because I moved it? Yeah, it goes up to 100. And then it drops down. Does he need even more? Hang on one second, guys. I'm just going to do a little experimenting. He's going to have like a big rocky exhibit. Because why not? There we go. Okay. He just really wanted a lot of rocks. Um, which I have no problem with because I love him. And then let's give him... All right. What do you guys think we should give Onyx as his enrichments? Should we give him the blood scent marker? <gasps> a pinata enrichment? We're giving him a pinata enrichment. I've never seen that before. That sounds amazing. Let's give him a pinata enrichment and then let's actually give him um, maybe a prey scent stack. Because I think those will be really cool. Oh, Fluxiness! Oh, I'm so glad, Fluxiness. I'm so glad that our streams have been a, a blessing for you and you've been enjoying everything. Thank you. Thank you so much and welcome, <gasps> Foxiness! You have flown the nest. <laughs> oh, and congratulations on hatching, Foxiness! Oh, that makes me so happy to see. Oh gosh! All right, let's go ahead and call in uh, the keeper to come and fill up some food and things in here. But look at our boy Onyx. He is like a thousand percent happy. He has no idea, but he is about to meet Jade. So let's find Jade because I want to have more tiger babies. I think we'll have to speed through a little bit, which is going to make like we're going to be just like bailing centipedes out. <gasps> Juanita is expecting offspring. <gasps> the centipede days, the days of our lady lives. The drama continues. Um, We're going to be bailing out cockroaches and centipedes in just a minute here. But first, we really need to have some baby tigers. So... I'm going to find the first female who has pretty good fertility and is not sickly. And then we're going to go ahead and get her. All right. Immunity, fertility. I like her. So this is, this is Final Kingdom Inc. We're just going to grab this one. We got her. We got her, you guys. Okay. Jade's on her way. Jade is on her way. I am so excited. Is Jade his mom? Did I name her Jade? <laughs> I was just going to name another tiger Jade. That's it. We need to change this name to Jade Palace. All right. What should we rename Onyx's place? And what should we rename Onyx's mate? Because I am not going to name his mate after his mother. That's really weird. <laughs> oh, Ruby. I like the name Ruby. Onyx pools. Oh, Onyx, Onyx Falls, Onyx Rocks, uh, Crystal, Emerald, Opal. Oh, you guys really like Opal. I think we'll go with Opal this time and then we'll... Here she comes. Here she comes. And we'll rename this to uh, Onyx Falls. <gasps> She's here, you guys. She's got the zoomies. She's 14 years old. That's fine. That's fine. She still has some breeding left in her. And she's Opal. So welcome to Opal. She is actually a lot older than Onyx. She's also like a lot more chilled with... She's like, I'm getting out of the rain. Like, what are you doing? And Onyx is just sleeping in the rain. Look at her. Or look at him. Dude, you're really making me panic a little bit. I would think that you were like dead. Because the way he's just chilling there. And his heart shelter, that is so interesting that it keeps, like, zigzagging around. Maybe if he woke up, he could get an idea of where things are. Whoa, where'd she go? Opal! Oh, hey! 
so Opal is just like checking stuff out over here. She also feels like there's not enough hard shelter. Uh, and that there's too much of the long grass. I agree, girl. We'll get rid of all that long grass for you. Even though I would think tigers would appreciate the long grass because it, part of what they have is the disruptive camouflage that is very useful for their stripes. So tigers do have a type of camouflage. Oh, here we go. He woke up and he is checking out the prey scent. Yes, and we got the terrain perfect. The plants are already perfect. They could use a few more. We'll add in some tamarind trees. Look at her. Oh. <laughs> and she, she went swimming and now she wants to get out of the rain by going in the hard shelter. Is that so, girl? Oh, she's beautiful. She is so beautiful. All right, we've got Onyx over here, too. We have a keeper being requested. Thanks, Onyx. <laughs> oh, I love him. I love him. Oh, did you get it, Terra Shine? I hope you have so much fun. And yeah, Gentleman New, I think they're not detecting the bedding down here properly because, like, oh, geez. Maybe that's why. Like, I think it might be hard for them to get in here. So I'm actually going to delete these. And then I'm going to delete the bedding. And then I'm going to see if I can raise this up. Because this is a really nice little cave. And I would love if they would use it. Okay. Okay, I think that's good. <laughs> Uh. Okay, hopefully that'll work. <laughs> you want to be gentle with your terrain tools, guys. They don't mess around. All right, maybe that'll work now for counting as a um, hard shelter. Or Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Gentleman New. I think that totally did it. Oh, thank you. Oh, the work zones. The work zones. Oh my gosh, Silver. No wonder I'm sitting here like, why has a keeper not come over here yet? Oh my gosh. You are keeping our animals alive. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. And we do have water treatment, actually, Bunny Soul. Bunny Sue. See, it's right over here. In this beautiful little little spot. Also, were they saying hello? Hi, guys. So we adopted a habitat species. Species welfare. Get the overall species welfare up to 72%. All right, these two are kind of growling at each other. I'm not captain is apparently visiting. He's ordering a drink, or he's getting some info. That's so cool. He just bought himself a umbrella. I love that the VIP players can come in. That's why you want to get like the uh, swag from doing the special events because then your character will show up wearing stuff to the other exhibits. Oop, 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 oop. <gasps> One you has had offspring. Okay guys, let's get some donation boxes down over here and then we might go ahead and tentatively. Oh, hey, Taco Blowfish, hello, hello, welcome. We'll get some donation boxes down. Maybe these fancy ones. Oh wait, that's like way... Okay, we'll try putting one of the fancy ones over here too. I think that'd be fine. Because I want to I wanna just try this out. Oops, I didn't want to duplicate. Because this is like a little shelter. So you can put your donation box over here. And have like some lights for it, I think. And then I think I can actually make the donation cover stick under that. Yeah, here's one of the donation covers and I think I can just slide it in right there. That's so much nicer to be able to just hide the donation boxes a little bit like that. I really love it. All right, and we'll put this over here. 
All right, guys. So I think I want to speed up so we can. Oh, the waterfalls have lights and they look beautiful. The glass barrier and the tiger pen. Yeah, the barriers start looking really worn out pretty quickly because uh, it's at like 70, 67 status. But we'll have a mechanic actually show up and take care of that soon. So let's actually move another one of our mechanics over to Trail of Tigers. And yeah, we'll move a couple of them. And that should help out. But all right, we have donation boxes down. We have two sets of tigers that will hopefully be breeding. I'm really hoping that will happen. They have pretty good fertility. Uh, let's go ahead and clear out a bunch of the centipedes and the cockroaches for money. And then we're going to kind of speed things up a little bit. Maybe go through a couple years and see if we can have another baby or two. And also we'll try to add in more ways to make some money by sprinkling more exhibit animals around. And info stands, you're right. We should definitely... We should definitely go ahead and get the info stands. And Taco Blowfish, I, I don't think the tigers will break out of the glass because they haven't so far. And as long as they're content, they... <gasps> Jade, you snuck that in! How many? <gasps> Another baby! <laughs> you guys! It's a little girl this time! It's a little girl! And she has 100% fertility! <gasps> Jade! A little girl! What do we name her? <gasps> she immediately climbs a tree. She immediately... Oh my gosh, that's the highest I've seen them climb the trees yet. Hang on, guys. This is... This is... She immediately just scurried up a tamarind tree. Like, I'm in love with her. She's Onyx's little sister. And the first thing she did was rush up as high as she could into a tamarind tree to look around. Is she going to climb down it? Oh my gosh, look at her. Oh, she's so cute! Ruby! Oh, I think Ruby is a perfect name because she is in the tamarind tree. And it looks so beautiful. And she's a little spicier, it seems. Look at her! Oh, you guys! Welcome, Ruby! Oh my gosh! And she has really great genetics! Her immunity is up. She unfortunately has longevity down, but her fertility is up, so we're kind of getting there on some things. And did we just do <gasps> two animals born? Rum okay, okay, we have another reward we can claim. Let's go ahead and see what happens. <gasps> we just got tiger pants! <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh, we just got tiger pants! <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. And Relina, to get better genetics, you want to start picking animals that have really good genetics and their offspring will sometimes mutate better genetics. So you want to try to like put the ones with the best genetics together and eventually they will have really great babies. I love her. I love that Ruby's first thing to do was to climb the tamarind tree. Okay, that's amazing. I feel like we're, we're finally making some pretty good progress. Let's go ahead and we are going to start, I need your guys' help to start scooping out the centipedes because there are so many of them. Guadalupe, the, Amer the uh, Amazonian giant centipede is now expecting offspring. Uh, but Carlos and Ferdinand, I need to give them special like markers. So, okay, we need to rename Carlos and Ferdinand or like give them a little marker. So I know that those are like the ones we do not. Look, everybody's here for the leggy days of our lives. I don't want to. Carlos, you can't go anywhere. There we go. Did that work? Hmm, interesting. I used to be able to. There, Carlos. And then let's go ahead and give Ferdinand. Ferdinand. Oh, no, that's. See? There's Ferdinando. Was it Ferdinando? Yes, that must have been him. Yes, that's Ferdinando, all right. All right, we'll go ahead and give him a marker, too. So that I know... Oh, my gosh. Mikaia is expecting offspring. I know. Don't sell those ones. But all of the others... 
Yes, R. Fernando is 1.2 years. All right, and Makia, we'll just leave you there for a minute. All right, we got to scoop him out. It's time to feed the pangolins. Speaking of which, I need to check in on the pangolins. Okay, Marco's already in the trade center. That's fine. And then we have... Wait, Noodle, where are you going? I almost picked up Noodle. Where's Pretzel? There's Pretzel. All right, that's fine. And then we need to come down to our... Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> There's so many cockroaches. There's so many. And we never replace dinner. We'll have to pick a good one to replace dinner. You guys, I think we're down to just breakfast and dinner and brunch. <gasps> We've lost some. The trade center is now full. Whoops. Okay, we need to, hang on guys. We need to just like batch sell all of these. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and batch sell everybody for now. We'll, we'll pick out some gold level. Well, I'll leave a cup. Well, no, no, we're just going to trade all of them for now. There we go. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I think we'll have to do these in batches. Noodle, you stay there with pretzel. Send to trade center. And oh, how do you batch sell? That is a good question, really. So now what we do is, oh wait, is that my Juanita? <gasps> You guys, I almost sold Juanita! Or did we already have a Juanita? There's so many, it's hard to tell. Okay, all of these are safe to sell. So the way that you batch sell is you just click on them and when you select multiples, you can go to quick move and then boom, you've sold multiple of them. So let's come over here. Juanita, I almost sold you. That would have been so bad. I need to rename, I need to give her a little marker too. It's the only way I can make sense of our centipedes because there's so many of them. All right, now let's come over. And Violetta, I will leave you. Noodle, stay there. I'll have to give Noodle like a little name marker too. All right, and I think that we need to actually, there we go, quick sell. Oof, oof. Animal food is really costing us a lot. I wonder if it's because we have so many, so many uh, pangolins and so many of these, these guys. And the inspector has just left. All right, hang on guys. We've got to gather up a whole bunch of cockroaches. There's Linner. Stay Linner. Linner breakfast and brunch. Okay, send a trade center. And then Juanita, Noodle, and Pretzel, and Violetta can stay because she's pregnant. Um, okay, all those guys are in the trade center. Do I have any golden cockroaches? No, but I have a male who has... We have a, a good male and a decent female. So I'm actually going to move these two into this exhibit over here so that we can start having more people give us donations. And then I think it might be time to start uh, looking for things more than just cockroaches and the others, but we'll sell these really quickly. Uh, <gasps> Pennsylvania! <gasps> Opal's expecting offspring! You guys, I'm so sorry. Did I sell Ferdinando? There was a Ferdinando, but yeah, there were multiple Ferdinandos. Oh, Pennsylvania! Oh, Pennsylvania. Opal is expecting offspring and Pennsylvania has just passed away. Do we have another female pangolin? Of course we do that I haven't named yet. Let's see. Mango. There we go. We have one named Schwan. And we're going to rename her to uh, Pen. Uh, let's see. Pennsylvania. Pen. Pennsylvania. How did I spell that? Uh, hang on one second. Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania. There we go. Pennsylvania the second. May you live long and prosper. And Opal is expecting you guys. It is the cycle of life around here for sure. It is absolutely the cycle of life around here for sure. I am apparently visiting. Lady, you are about to be wearing some tiger pants. I can promise you that. And then Black Metal Tane is visiting. 
And he's headed over here. He's not wearing any tiger pants. We'll have to see... We'll have to see how many people are going to be wearing tiger pants pretty soon. Violetti has now had offspring. Holy cow. Trying to keep up with these centipedes. I swear. The days of our lives. There's another Ferdinando. Don't worry. Our Ferdinando has a star. So we won't mix them up. And Violetti. So that would leave Juanita in the days of our legged lives. Okay, good. We're good, guys. Move to Trade Center. And then... <gasps> Yes, more gold stars! Yes, oh my gosh. We have like really, really, really happy, healthy Amazonian centipedes. So I'm actually gonna move a male and female pair over here. <laughs> and then I think three things of giant centipedes is enough. All right, there we go. Let's make sure that I'm taking care of our exhibit animals really quickly and that they all have keepers assigned to them. Hang in there, little ones. And then we're gonna speed up a little bit. So Opal, keep an eye out. So if I'm busy like dealing with our lady animals. There. There you go, guys. I don't wanna miss the, the birth of our new tiger. Especially because there's a chance we might have more than one baby. The tigers can have up to four babies at a time. And it always sounds fun to imagine like, oh, a tiger in the wild having four babies. But can you guys imagine why it would be a very, a very tricky situation if a wild tiger had four babies? Like why you wouldn't want to have that many even if they are like an endangered animal? There you go, little, little ones. Is it, oh, it's baby time! Good job, guys! Tiger baby alert! Our boy Onyx is <gasps> Tiger Twins! We just had Tiger Twins! We just had Tiger Twins! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! We have one little baby boy who apparently has really great genetics. He is extremely healthy. He is the healthiest tiger ever. <gasps> oh my gosh. Is this mom like showing her, her babies how to play? Oh, I love the name Amber. We have a boy, so we need, we need a good name that you guys think would be good for a, a boy as well. Oh my gosh, we just had tiger twins. We have three baby tigers right now. This is so fun. Oh, thank you, candy boy. Oh, tiger eye. Oh, that would be a really good one too. Okay, so this is gonna be Amber, the little girl. I kind of, ooh, obsidian. It is the firstborn of Onyx and he is really healthy. So I think naming him obsidian is a good idea. Oh, you guys, you guys. I, I think tiger lily and tiger eye. Oh my gosh, Ivan, I love those names too. We're gonna have to save them. Mm. We have three, three baby tigers in this facility right now. I am so happy. Let's go ahead and see what happens now. Oh my gosh, are they gonna play with each other? So we got more, <gasps> we got a Japanese macaque? What? We just got a Japanese macaque, <laughs> like a free Japanese macaque. <gasps> oh, they're so cute. Thank you, Folksiness. So one of my Discordians just put in the name Tiger Lily and Tiger Eye to our Discord so I can remember it for the future. Juanita is now expecting more offspring. Are the babies gonna play with each other? Oh, that's so cool. So we just got a Japanese macaque just because, because of doing the tiger challenge. Um, that's kind of amazing. Yes, I know our zoo has no security guard. We're good there. Mechanic research ongoing. Good job, mechanics. Okay, so this is really cool, you guys. And now we have tiger twins. And where's our boy? Where's our two males? So we have Onyx. And he has 100% fertility, which is kind of amazing. And let's compare that to his parents. So where are our tigers in here? Our beloveds. 
So Topaz, his dad, actually has really low fertility, which is why I think it took so long to get some siblings for Onyx. But what do you guys think about getting Onyx another mate? Because I think, like, tigers don't do parental care in the wild. And now that he has uh, some offspring, Opal's going to be super defensive of her territory, making sure her baby cubs will have room. So I'm thinking, what if we get our boy with really high fertility another mate? And then we go ahead and make another exhibit and just move him into it and go ahead and see what they have. Because that would be so cool. Oh, I think I'm going to have to save that for next time, though, because I've gone on so long tonight. My voice is starting to go out. But we have three tiger cubs in our place now. Look at how much we have done. And we are starting to go back into the green on the income, which is such a freaking relief because I was a little worried about that for a minute. <laughs> oh... Oh, and you guys have some of the best names. And Smaggle Dangle, thank you so much. Yes, we do have a great Discord. We're talking all about like what to do for the Planet Zoo over there. It's been fantastic. You guys, look how much we've added to this place in one night. And we have made it so far up the challenge. Oh, and you know what we need to do? You know what we need to do before we go tonight? Okay, let's say goodbye to the tigers and then I'm gonna put on my tiger pants. Oh, hi, Alvin. Alvin. Oh, what a cool name. Oh, look at them. Look at our boy. Oh, Onyx. He's grown up and had his own little tigers. Oh, hey, hello, girl. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, you guys, thank you so much. Onyx has been able to do so much. Free on rocks. Welcome, welcome. Oh, you guys, we have tiger cubs. They're so cute. We'll decorate their exhibit and make it even prettier and like add in more places where people can look at it later. Oh, and combat guppy, welcome. Oh, and then tomorrow I'm going to be streaming at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will start using a little scheduley thing to start pulling like information so you guys know when to come in. And if you are playing Planet Zoo and you're having questions, you can ask me the way that Relly, thank you so much Relly, we're asking me tomorrow. And then that will give me a chance to answer because I have put in like a lot of hours to the game already and I'm learning some tricks, so I'd be happy to help. But all right, so let's, I want to count the tiger cubs one more time just to see all of them. And then we'll build some little like, I want to build some sort of little memento for each tiger we have so that we can maybe have like little tiger shrines or make like little caves that have crystals inside of it. And we'll put down a new one for each tiger. <gasps> That's where you were. One of the cubs was climbing the Kapok tree. Obsidian Amber was climbing the Kapok tree. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got stuck in the dirt. Amber! How cute! Oh, you guys. And also, if you want to take away the UI so you can take pictures, Control-Shift-G. That's the magic thing. Okay, so there's Amber and there's Obsidian. Obsidian and Amber. Amber has really high fertility. Yes! And really high immunity. So Onyx is having very healthy, healthy babies. And then Jade and Topaz have a little ruby over here. And so far I feel like none of these tiger cubs are nearly as noisy as Onyx was as a child, which cracks me up. Uh, but all right, so there's the tiger cubs. Oh, hey, Vase! Welcome, welcome. We're gonna go ahead and save and exit to the main menu. And we are gonna be putting on those tiger pants and seeing how much further we have to go. We have gotten the Japanese macaque as our reward animal. So maybe we'll start a new exhibit in here tomorrow where we can try to build up a great Japanese macaque exhibit. And then let's come into franchise. I hope the community goal can be met. It's kind of a big one. Franchise achievements. So there we go. We have done four tigers. There's a tiger shirt and a hat that we need to try to brood up for. And we have contributed in our own small way to the overall goal, which is now at 72%. Let me move the little nest so you can see. It's at 72%. So hopefully 
the community, including some of you guys, might have luck with some tiger cubs and we'll be able to unlock that. But finally, I need I need to change my little avatar. <laughs> I've got my tiger pants on. <laughs> All right, guys, there we go. Thank you all so much for joining me. We'll be back at 2 p.m. tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time, to breed up some more tigers and try to unlock the tiger hat and build up the pixel biology. Uh, let's see, what am I calling it again? The Pixel Biology Wildlife Conservation and Endangered Species Breeding Center. It's quite a mouthful. We might need to make an acronym. And if you are enjoying Planet Zoo, I do have daily episodes of Planet Zoo over on my YouTube channel with our amazing Zudesia Zoo that started with an escaping panda. Yeah, it's really special to me now. <laughs> but all right, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. I love the tiger so much. I love Planet Zoo so much. And I will see you all tomorrow. So good night, guys. Good night. <laughs> Bye, guys.